In this lecture, I'm going to talk briefly about a concept in electromagnetism called Lenz's Law. Lenz's Law deals with currents induced by magnetic fields. In short, Lenz's Law states that a change in magnetic flux caused by a changing magnetic field will be opposed by the magnetic field created by the current induced by this change in magnetic flux. That's a little abstract, so let's look at a picture. Let's say we have a simple bar magnet, such as this, encircled by a wire loop. It goes all the way around it. Then we'll have magnetic field lines pointing from the North Pole to the South Pole. Look like this. And so let's say we take this magnet and move it straight upwards. We're going to be concerned here with the magnetic flux through this wire loop. So this will be the surface over which we'll think about magnetic flux. So the magnetic field is moving upwards. Magnetic field lines are traveling in this direction along with the magnet. And let's say we move the magnet completely out of the loop. So we, we end up with the south pole somewhere up here, the north pole up above. Then we'll notice that the magnetic field lines have also moved, and now they're much farther away from the wire loop, which means that the magnetic flux has decreased, and to be exact, it's decreased in the upward direction. So by Lenz's law, we need a sort of magnetic field that will oppose this upward decrease. So an upward decrease would be opposed by an upward increase, so we need an upward pointing magnetic field. So now we have to think about which direction of current would create this sort of magnetic field. Well, if we have current going this way, that's counterclockwise, by the right hand rule we'll end up with a magnetic field in the direction we're interested in. So that must be the direction of the current by Lenz's law. Let's look at a second example here. Let's say we've got a bar magnet that's moving upward through a conducting loop. So we have magnetic fields looking like this, and they're moving upward through this loop. So we get a net change in magnetic flux upward, and it's increasing. So we need a magnetic field pointing downward to oppose this. So we'll need a current that moves clockwise through the loop by the right-hand rule to create a downwards magnetic field. That's all in Lenz's Law.